So here's the camera running at uh, 1080p, I believe. I'm not sure if it's that or 1080i. I'll have to check in the settings and I'll put that in the description later. But this is just on regular video mode, so uh, yeah, and it handles pretty well. I wish it had uh, some real targets to zoom in on, but uh, you know, I can zoom in in real time while it's uh, doing its thing, so that's pretty cool. Like I can zoom in the camera on the calendar, stuff like that. Get nice little details. Just like that. And I just like how it just auto focuses on particular targets and stuff like uh, the paintings. It just after a while, they just super become clear. And then there's my uh, laptop. So, zoom in and see what's going on up in here. So, yeah, I got a bunch of different things going on here. I got audio event playing and. Yeah, my laptop's kind of dirty right now, so. And I like how you're able to actually see what's on the screen. Like, I change it to here, you can see what's on the keyboard. And I change it to here, and you can read what's on the screen. So I think that's pretty cool. And you zoom in a little more. And you get a little bit more detail. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, it can automatically switch to, like, uh, macro mode. So if I did a close-up of the uh, remotes, for instance, it adjusts the focus and the lighting, so I don't have to keep on hitting a white balance all the freaking time. And so, focus in on that. That's pretty cool. Whoa! Extreme close up. Yeah, well, it's kind of dark right now. Let's see if it'll autofocus. You're not that close. Yeah, as you can tell, it's even when it's not in macro mode, you can still get a lot of detail. You can see like the little fur and stuff like that. You can see like little notches in my skin. That's pretty cool. It's not super duper detailed. You have to be the right distance away, but you know, it's pretty cool. You can see like little pieces of hair and stuff like that. There we go. And it just, I don't know, like, it, it, this camera focuses on stuff really well. Like, uh, let's focus on plant. Let's do that. So you can see the little flecks of dirt and stuff like that it's very highly detailed I mean there's some image noise because of how the uh, light is distributed but uh, it's not too bad not too bad at all especially given the crazy lighting get up you know just overhead lights <laughs> it's normally not very good for cameras but uh, this manages to combat it really well and uh, so you can see a little bits of dust on here. Uh, there's a lot of little detail and stuff like that. Like you can, there we go. You can see little notches on the rock. And finally activated macro mode. You can just see. You can look at the uh, like energy symbol. It's a Sony. Like this little van right here. Get a little more light. Switch to macro mode, maybe it'll come on. There we are. 
You can get all the fine little details and stuff like that. So that's that's pretty cool. So and you can do like the clock that's still in. I was gonna switch back to macro mode. It <laughs> went from auto to mac to a macro mode to auto. So you gotta. No, you can still see it even though it's not in macro mode. You can see all the little fine details of the clock and stuff like that. So, yeah, little things may seem a bit insignificant, you know, little details I'm pointing out, but I think in the long run, and especially if you're taking pictures, they really uh, manage to pop out. So if you like taking pictures of things up close, that, you know, little details like that will pop out. So I think that's really cool. So let's flip it around and see if I can do my first little vloggy vlog with a Canon camera. <laughs> All right, I'm a little, a little up close and personal there, so let's uh, back it out a tad. There we go. Okay, now I'm just using the the uh, mirror to guide myself <laughs> like I normally do. So yeah, and this is uh, a bit lighter than my uh, video camera, so I can hold it a bit further away. But if I wanted to zoom in, I could do that. Extreme close up. Whoa. Whoa. Dang. I'm a ninja turtle. That is some crazy stuff. Alright, obviously it gets darker because it zooms in closer and the lighting scheme isn't exactly the best out here. So anyway, um, <laughs> no, I'm having too much fun with the settings. And I know that you can get a bit more intricate than that with like the manual and aperture priority settings and stuff like that. But I just got it on auto. So that's easy for me, you know, because I don't really like to futz with the settings too much. So yeah, this is the Andy San, signing off for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in to my unboxing and brief demo of the Canon PowerShot SX230HS, <laughs> still reading it, and uh, for liking, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party, and as always, we'll see you next time. Happy holidays, everybody. See ya. How do you stop this thing?